Go ahead, Mr. Ankin. Chairman, first of all, I'm just intrigued to know who actually asked for this report. All we can find out, it was AGRI. But who in here asked for it? And is the individual actually here to listen to it? So maybe that will, we will get to the bottom of that. Um, it would seem to me that it possibly came from what we call the left of the House, convinced there was some sort of conspiracy going on with big, wicked corporations taking food out of the consumer's mouth and profits out of the farmer's hands or something like that. But there's, there's one thing that really does strike home, and that the cost of bringing a plant protection material to the market has increased from $152 million to $256 million. That's an enormous increase, and only the biggest can really afford to take that on. And so if there has been a concentration of uh, corporations, etc., in this particular field, well, there is your answer. It's only the biggest who can afford to do it. And who has made it very expensive? Well, this European Union. Well, the agenda of meetings is consulted and discussed at uh, coordinators' meetings. Perhaps you weren't there, but my understanding is that you were asking who we should thank for having um, uh, raised the issue, having ordered that uh, report. Well, uh, thank you. Um, I'll pass it on to the coordinators tomorrow. For me, the subject was very uh, important. Um. The, uh, the general question on this regulatory issue that has been raised uh, by our colleague from the uh, UK, yes, indeed, when we look at the uh, concentration ratios uh, based on our report, we don't observe areas where we would be tremendously be concerned about the co uh, concentration. But what we observe is that um, innovation in some specific sector like uh, the seed sector as well as the uh, plant protection agent sector has substantially declined when we look at the patent data. And uh, the explanation for this is that getting products approved for the market are extremely high. So costs seem to matter a lot. And in this respect, we have through this regulatory uh, hurdle a natural barrier that supports concentration in that sector as it becomes more difficult for smaller seed and uh, plant protection companies to get their products launched on the market. This does not, and I would like to stress this, only co uh, apply to companies that produce chemical plant control mechanisms. It also applies to companies that produce biological control options. There we also observe a high amount of costs for getting products approved. So they are also, uh, their market entry is also reduced through these hurdles. Now, are there uh, tendencies that are of concern? We came to the conclusion in our study that with respect to the concentrations that we observed, there is not a substantial tendency for concern. There are some niche markets where concentration ratios are much larger than in other markets. But we can explain this because these are niche markets, and if you would say, okay, you need more competition there, there's not room for competition as these markets are so small, and having two or more companies investing in that market from a social welfare perspective would also not be very useful, it, meaning to say would reduce social welfare.